Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut and Let's Talk About the Truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. So far, we've been talking about all kinds of things. Truth, lies, logic, and even things like feelings and free will. Today, though, I want to talk about one way to study these kinds of things. Philosophy. Philosophy is a word that lots of people don't understand. It's a little like the word truth in that it's used to mean a lot of things that contradict each other. These days we mainly use the word philosophy to mean outlook or perspective, but it's used in a lot of other ways too. Some people use it to mean an approach to a goal they have, like a philosophy of business. Other people use it to describe the work of philosophers of the past, like Aristotle and Socrates. Some people use it to mean a study of people's beliefs, and there are some who see it as any type of logical discipline. Again, as with the word truth, we need to know what we're talking about when we say philosophy, and you just can't be sure when a word has this many different definitions. In fact, some of them can even contradict. For example, a person could have a very illogical outlook on life, so they could have an illogical philosophy, which is totally incompatible with the logical discipline definition of philosophy. Having this many conflicting definitions makes a word pretty useless, in my opinion, but instead of just discarding it, I'll pick one definition to use and stick with it. However, try to remember the confusion this word can cause. A lot of folks will use it like that on purpose to confuse people. The definition of philosophy that I use is this, the study of the nature of reality by using logic. It's when you use logic to try to figure out what reality is. Simple, right? I bring this up because now that we've got through the basics of truth and logic, we can start getting at the truth itself, and there's only one sure way to do that. We just look at the ideas people have and figure out whether they're true or false. So far, we don't have a lot of information to work with, so we'll have to stick to issues that are really, really simple. In fact, some of these are so easy, even a toddler could figure them out. That's why next time, we'll be talking about skepticism. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.